it did not look like they were in uh, good condition. Tragedy strikes a family after their home went up in flames on the city's northwest side. Now three children and a woman are fighting for their lives. Good afternoon. Thanks for checking in with us. I'm Ben Bradley. And I'm Lourdes Duarte. WGN's Julian Cruz is live on the scene with more. Julian. Well, Lourdes and Ben, the Chicago firefighter who was on duty at the time that this blaze broke out, said to have heard dispatchers last night sending firefighters and EMT crews to the burning house. It was more smoke. I didn't see flames at all. Joel Rivera says firefighters were on the scene quickly just after 9 o'clock last night. First responders did a, a phenomenal job. Witnesses telling us the Chicago Fire Department quickly dousing the blaze on the 2500 block of North Rutherford Avenue. A 34-year-old woman and three young children suffering significant smoke inhalation, the fire department says, to the distress of neighbors like Carlos Gomez. I heard there were children and they were trying to resuscitate them. It's sad. It's sad because, uh, especially when you see the children. Alderman Gilbert Viegas and his staffers passing out smoke detectors in the 36th ward, though it appears the burned out single family home had working smoke detectors. Investigators working to determine what caused last night's blaze that sent the adult female, a two year old girl, and two seven year olds to area hospitals in critical condition. And it did seem like they were in really uh, rough conditions. Sources telling WGN News that a Chicago firefighter appears to have lived in the home on Rutherford Avenue. And we're learning more about the relationship. Neighbors telling us that the firefighter was married uh, to his wife and those were his children. The family moved into this home less than a couple of years ago. In the Montclair neighborhood, Julian Cruz, WGN News. All right, Julian, thank you. We